Welcome back to another episode of Alia to Scratch. Today we are here at Anfield Golf and Country Club where we are playing a par 3 18 hole course. Now my short game is the worst part of my golf game at the minute and if I want to become a scratch golfer we've got to fix the short game. So today we're going to see what we score. There are four holes that are closed today. It's the 5th, 6th, 7th and 10th holes that are closed. So what we're going to do is we'll play 15, 16, 17 and 18 twice to make up 18 holes and then we'll see our score at the end. We are here at the first hole it is currently playing 136 yards so i'm going to tee up with my four hybrid don't laugh i know that's a very high club is that high is that the correct word like a very it's my third longest club in the bag i'm gonna play the hole now i don't know if the tees are gonna go in so we'll try i don't know if you guys can see it from here as well there's a huge bunker in front of the green so if i get in there i am buggered this is also my first hit of the day because they don't have like practice nets or driving range here so we'll see what happens <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> i thought the tee was too high but i wasn't sure so i just hit it so i probably should have like lowered the tee but it's okay let's go to our ball it probably went like this my tee found it 105 yards i'm gonna use an eight iron i think eight is the right play here and there's lots of trees oh no i'm going for the green They're not bad. Wait, is there a lake there? They're not bad, not bad. I think there's a lake there though that we just narrowly avoided. So that's, that's all right. I'm also using the acro sensors. I have them, acros, acros, sorry if I'm saying it wrong. I have them on my clubs. So it helps me get my statistics and that's how I know that my short game is the worst because it says I lose like 40 strokes compared to a scratch golfer, which is no surprise. Also, I'm chewing gum to try and help me calm down, but I don't think it's working. And there's no flavor. I've been chewing on this gum for an hour. This is my caddy. Well, not my caddy, my cameraman. He can't play today, his back hurts. <laughs> Look at this bunker. I would have struggled to get out of that bunker. It's so deep. Here's our ball. I'm gonna use my 56 degree because we have about 18 yards. That's what my watch says. It's probably not 18, but I don't know how to calculate yards. So we'll just hit and hope. This is for par, by the way. So obviously it's a par three course. I did a bump and run. <laughs> <laughs> no, but shh. I'm gonna go straight. I shouldn't miss this, right? Like, realistically. Oh, there's water in the hole. I'm trying to break 100 today on this par 3 course. It's so we're gonna try our best. <laughs> but this is a par 3 course. Par 54. We're gonna try and break 100 today. Look at how muddy the ground is and wet. Danny made the choice as well to wear white Nike shoes, which probably isn't the right choice. I'm wearing... Ah, shit, that... Ah! Frick, man, I just put this in the washing machine. Look at them. <laughs> Mine are fine. Mine aren't. We're here on the second hole. On the scorecard, it says it's playing 170 yards, but it's actually... Danny, I have a boogie. Is it a boogie? Is that what it's called? <laughs> no, it's 170 yards, hole number two, but it's playing 148 yards. So I think I might... No, I'm going to hit my four hybrid again because my three wood sometimes goes further than my driver and I really don't want it to go into the back of the house. Oh, shit. Ugh. It's okay. Ah, my foot got stuck. I'm trying to decide if I should put this on the tee because my four hybrid, it's under the ball. Hold on, let me try a lower tee. Like, look at that. That's way too high, I think. Let me try a green tee, which is meant for the iron. So we're breaking a bit of a rule here. Let's try that. That doesn't count as one stroke, you guys. Don't comment saying it's one stroke. Okay, here we go. Four hybrid off the tee. That was really good, but I think I'm just short of the green, which is okay. I got up there. I think this is the... Oh, my tee broke. Okay, don't worry. Here we go. Come on, Danny. So here we are. We have about 30 yards left into the green. We're going to use our 56 degree. And this is really good because my chipping is actually at the minute. So it's good practice. I'm going to half swing this, I think. I don't really know what I'm doing, to be honest. This is going in. I feel it. 
people said it was going in. <laughs> we're not gonna put the club down, we're gonna keep it. This is my issue with chipping, right? I don't commit, like I'm too scared to commit. Next one, 16 yards. Why is it not working? So this is our putt for bogey. I'm not even gonna line it up. I'm just gonna hit it because vibes and that in it. Okay, here we go. How do you guys clean your ball, by the way? Because I literally just rub it on the green, which I don't know if it's the best thing to do, but I just rub mine on the green. We're just gonna hit and hope. This is for bogey. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Come on, Danny. Okay, this is for double bogey. Come on, Alia. We got it. Double bogey. Come on! I can't see my ball. And it was my ball. Oh. Oh. Ew. Okay, anyway. <laughs> we are plus three through two. I think that's how golfers say it. I don't know. So that's not bad. Three over. We're now on the third hole. It is on the card 166 yards, but it's playing 171 yards. And that's roughly how far my driver goes. So call me a loser for using my driver on the par three course. But that's what we're going to do. Drop it time, baby. I can't even see the hole. Oh, there it is. Ugh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oops. That's okay. The three boys on the other team just laughed at me. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I am so embarrassed. Right, so I have 110 yards left in. My drive pretty much went 60 yards. So I'm going to use my 8 iron just so I don't overshoot it. That's all right, it went very right, but I'm gonna blame the wind for that. That wasn't my fault, that was the wind's fault. Right, so we have about 16 yards left according to the watch. I don't know if that looks like 16 yards to you. It probably doesn't. I don't work in yards. I've been living in this country for six years and I still don't work in yards. I work in meters. This is going in the hole. This is for par. Commit to it. That was a lot better. I thinned it a little bit, but it got up there. I committed to it. A lot more as well so that's better on the green for bogey Woo! putt for bogey this looks like it's relatively straight downhill get this in for bogey alia oh that was really good double bogey yes double bogey that's not bad good okay bye so we're now here on the fourth hole 121 yards according to the scorecard but it's playing about uh, <laughs> it's playing about 131 yards so i i think that's a four hybrid again you know or is it a three wood no we're gonna try four hybrid again just so i don't overshoot the green let's try and get a par oh jesus that's in the bunker that's in the bunker four holes in no greens hit it's okay we're having fun this is probably the most positive i've been in a golf course in a long time last time we played golf and i was playing like the best i played ever right um but i was really upset i was getting bogeys and not pass because in my head i feel like i have to get both um pass all the time which doesn't make any sense but we'll go into that in another video because i have a video idea totally my idea not danny's idea okay bye see you soon we have roughly 30 yards left into the pin and the goal here is to just try and commit to it because i'm being a bit of a scaredy cat did i that didn't feel like I slowed down. One issue I have with golf is I can't feel what I'm doing. That didn't feel like I slowed down, but Danny said I slowed down. That felt like I didn't slow down at all. Do you, would you like to be mic'd up as well, my darling? Did, it again. Did I slow down again? Yeah. That doesn't feel like I'm slowing down on my chair. That means that's for, that's for bogey again. Flipping hell. This is literally for evidence how shit I am at chipping. Because look, that two chips has given me two strokes already. I should have got on the green in one stroke. Putting for bogey. Come on, Alia. God damn it. Putting for double bogey. Yes! So I'm, I'm guessing we're on eight, the eight hole. I'm guessing. So we are currently on the eight hole, playing 163 yards according to the scorecard. But according to my watch, hold on. Okay, 163 yards. You're going to hate me for this. I'm whipping out my driver. I'm whipping out the big boy. There aren't any houses I can go into. So we should be fine. Oh, sorry. The bag's in the way. 
Oh, I mean, I topped that a little bit, but we got up there. So we didn't make it on the green, but we got quite close to it. We're going to try to just commit to a chip and see what happens. That felt better. I don't know, that felt the same actually. I don't know why I said it felt better. That genuinely felt totally the same. On the green, we could get a par here. Probably not actually, I just saw how far I am away from the hole. Let's not be delusional, Alia. Be realistic. Long putt for par. I think this is a right to left. So I'm gonna aim outer right cup. Oh, that's way too strong. What was I doing there? Honestly, it's fine. This is our putt for bogey now then. This is our putt for double bogey. See, this is how awful my chipping and my putting is at the minute. I just have four strokes just from chipping and putting. Kind of lost count because I'm not getting past on all the holes, but we are now on hole number nine, which is 163 yards on the scorecard, but it's playing 154 yards. I'm gonna whip out my driver because why not? Honestly, I just need to get up there and this wind then I don't know what I'm talking about, but yeah, I'm using my driver. Sometimes I try and explain myself like what I'm doing in golf, but I don't actually know what I'm talking about. So that's why I waffle a lot. <laughs> Oh shit, that might be too long. I went long, but that was really good. That was straight and it was good. Only took about five holes before we got our best shot of the day, but that was long. See, I was gonna use my three wood, but then that's the third time I've used my driver and I didn't think you'd get up there, but it's long. It's better to be long than short. So that's what Danny tells me anyway. So, <laughs> Lego. We overshot the green quite a lot, but we really gotta commit to this one because I am in the mud. That literally got stuck, Daddy. That's not my fault. For par then. For par. It's a lot better. I didn't commit to that. We are now on for our <laughs> bogey putt. Let's try and get bogey for this one. Come on, come on. Yes! We finally got off double bogeys, you guys. We're back down to bogeys, which is really good. Really, really good. That was really good. So we are now on hole number 10, which is 88 yards. Oh wait, no, this is not hole number 10. Sorry, this is hole number 11. Apologies, this is 154 yards and it's playing 133 yards according to the win. I'm gonna hit my three wood off the tee this time and see what happens because driver after that last hole, I think driver's gonna go too long and I'm just gonna change my ball because my other one's covered in mud. Come on, Alia, let's aim it a bit right since there's bunkers there. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was really good. Get on the green. I'm telling you, it's because I'm wearing earrings today. That's why I'm hitting better. And I have my glasses on. Maybe I should play golf more when I'm wearing my glasses so I can actually see. Overshot the green quite a bit. Let's try and commit to this chip here. Really commit to it. Oh. I thinned it. I was going to say I committed to it, but that definitely wasn't a commit. That was just me thinning it because I was trying to hit it hard. But chips aren't meant to be hard. Nice soft chip, Alia. Go on. Oh, that was really good for me. Oh, there we go. Ew, my pocket is muddy. So we are now here on the 12th hole, which is 98 yards. I am going to use my 8 iron, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Let's hit an 8 iron. That should be perfect. Danny just yawned. <laughs> He's bored of my golf game. Green tea. I like green tea, actually. It's one of my favourite drinks. I used to hate it, but then I went through a phase in secondary school where I was trying to lose weight and I would drink, force myself to drink green tea and then eventually I just like it. Oh, I thinned it. Might work out though. <laughs> okay, that was a terrible tee shot. But I think I'm pin high with like 10 yards to the pin. I need all the luck I can get. I am, oh my gosh. Daddy, I'm genuinely so close to the pin. It's not even funny. Don't get in your head, Alia. Don't force yourself to get a birdie or anything. Leave our bag here since the next tee box is just over there. Ooh, I'm feeling really nervous about that putt. We got it, Alia. Nice and easy. You've putted these ones before. You can do it again. <sighs> I'm so nervous. Come on. Ooh. It was a good try, though. 
We got a par. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Okay, that's good. We finally have a par on the scorecard. I'm really proud of myself because we finally got a par. <laughs> that's the first par I've got in a really long time. Okay, so we are now on the 13th hole, which is about 75 yards. So I'm going to use my uh, pitching and wedge and hope I get there. Oh, might be strong. Oh, that might be a penalty. <laughs> oh shit. I forgot I was going off a tee. I always forget that when I'm hitting off the tee, the ball is gonna go further. I might have to take a drop, you guys, which is really unfortunate considering I just got a, um, I just got a par. Oh, what's that? A two stroke, two stroke thingy, isn't it? If I get a drop. I think that's a drop, Danny. I think it's a goner. Where is it? I can't hit that, Danny. Okay, Danny's gonna save the day and get my ball. <sighs> Careful, Danny because there's no way I can hit that. So I'm gonna have to take a drop, which is, I think, is a two stroke penalty. Correct me if I'm wrong, over here. Oh shit. Okay, not great, not great, but I was in my head about the fact that I had to take a drop. <laughs> shit. Fifth stroke. Okay, that's better. That was close. So we are here on the next hole. It is apparently 124 yards, but that does not look like 124 yards. So I am gonna hit my driver because I think this is the correct club. Oh shit. What's wrong with my driver today? I hit one good drive and now I can't hit it. Okay, so it's saying there's 67 yards left in, which it does not look like 67 at all. So I'm gonna hit my pitch and wedge, see what happens. Go on. I hate trees. No, I like them because you need them to breathe in oxygen and all that. But in golf, I don't like trees. Oh man, not a great lie, but we just gotta commit to it. Never mind. It's a lot better. So this next one is for bogey. Oh dear. Okay, I think that's a triple. Not awful, no, it's quite awful. So we're now here on the 15th hole. It is a path. Well, obviously it's a par three on a par three course. It is playing about 132 yards. So I'm going to use my six hybrid for the first time today and for the first time in quite a long time, actually. I'm getting a hole in one today, you guys. I feel it. I've got eight more holes left to play. So 15, 16, 17, 18, and then the same again. I feel like I'm getting a hole in one today. That might be delusional, but I also believe in manifestation. And um, I'm going to manifest a hole in one. Guys, let me know how you think I'm playing so far. Oh, I look like a, oh, I look like a fish. Um, let me know how you think I'm playing so far. Um, I expect a lot of you will just say your shit, your shit, quick golf, blah, blah, blah. But um, yeah, just let me know what you guys, or how you guys think I'm playing so far on the course. And um, like and subscribe. I farted as I took my shot. <laughs> I'm not even joking. <laughs> as I had him. <laughs> when, I did, when I did my backswing, I farted. And it threw me off. Oh my gosh, that is taking the piss. You got play as it lies. Should I? As a lol? Oh. That's like the third time it's done it to me this winter. Oh shit. Come on. Two. No, Danny, I'm trying to get it out. Three. Danny, don't. Four. Five. Six, Danny, no. Seven. Eight. Jesus Christ. That looks like a chocolate milkshake. No, this isn't my ball. This is a tight list. This isn't mine, Danny. That's a good chip. That's probably the best chip I've had all day. And for that, Alia, I'm really proud of you. We are putting for par. Long par, darlings, but we got it. Cause I'm weird. <laughs> Ooh. Yo, the water is so cold. Ew. <sighs> You got a nice tightless ball now, Danny. We're on the 16th hole, which is 85 yards. So I'm going to hit a pitching wedge again, just because we're hitting off a tee. And I feel like that is the right thing to do. I don't know what is the right thing to do when I'm playing, to be honest, but game's a game, innit? Oh, that might be bunker. Short? How is that short? I thought that would be just right. 
Did I hit that pure? So this is where we are, quite far from the pin, but we're just gonna try and commit to a chip because I think the last chip I did was decent. Did I? I don't know if the mic's picking up on what Danny's saying, but he's just trying to show off now and he wants me to record him and show me how it's done. Danny used to be quite bad at chipping, by the way. He's only recently gotten better. Wow! Off the green, fail, fail, fail. Bah, bah, bah. At least I commit to it. Looks like a right to left, so I'm gonna aim somewhere. Go, go, go. Oh, that is me when I just hit it without aiming. I'm so good at this game. He says as she got a bogey on the hole. So we are here on the 17th hole, which is playing about 67 yards. So I'm gonna hit my pitching wedge because why not? And I've actually just cleaned my pitching wedge. I haven't cleaned my pitching wedge and I'm not gonna say because I'll probably get told off. Are you taking the piss? Are you taking the piss? Yeah, but that's gone like 80 yards. Oh shit, that's what my pitch I should have hit my 56 degree. I don't moan at him, okay? I just you get- do. No, don't make me sound like a prick. <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> I am a good girlfriend, okay? <laughs> I don't- a shit girlfriend. <laughs> I didn't cop that the first time. My therapist said I'm really good with self-awareness and um, like accountability, but for some reason that doesn't translate into golf for whatever reason. We gotta really commit to this one because we are quite far. Oh my God. We thinned that one, but I think I was, I kept the pace through. Now we're on for par, baby. We're gonna aim outer right cup, I think. Oof! I changed my aim when I did my backswing. I nearly, <laughs> Only bottle that. We are here on the 18th hole, which is not the final hole, because don't forget we're playing the last four holes again to make 18. It is about 119 yards. So I'm gonna hit my five iron, which might be long, but we're trying to get there. We are in the bunker for the first time today. Now I am really shit with my bunker shots because I hit the ball rather than hitting the sand beforehand. Let's try and hit the sand beforehand here. <laughs> Let's try again. I'm trying to hit the sand. So I took three shots out of the bunker for six, seven, that's your eight. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, here we go. Stroke number eight. Oof. That wasn't bad. I feel like I actually committed to that. Oopsie. <laughs> I thought that wasn't gonna drop in. Four more holes to play. Back to the 15th tee again. Right, so we are back on the 15th hole for the second time because we need to play the last four holes to get to 18 holes, like I was saying for the third time now. Woo! Aim more left. Six hybrid again. It's on the green. This is what happens when I listen to Danny. Danny, you are right. I washed Danny's shoes, right? And um, now his soles are too big for the actual shoe. So I think, shrunk my shoe. I, I think I have shrunk. I was like size nine now, I'm like size six. I think, I think I've shrunk Danny's shoe. So I thought I was on the green. I'm not, I'm on the edge of the green. Danny taught me to putt and we always listen to Danny. Danny, you told me to putt it. So I trusted you and I putted it and look what happened. Tell you what, it's on the, it's on the green. I'm gonna aim out of, I'm gonna aim for the hole. Oh, double bogey. On the 16th hole again, this one is about 92 yards. So I'm gonna hit my nine iron because Danny told me to. I was gonna hit an eight. You guys vote in the comments. Am I the problem? <laughs> so I have no idea how much we have left to the hole. I don't know how I'm going to hit this. So I'm just going to try. I'm in the bunker again, everyone. We know what happened last time. I tried. 
It's out. I rake my bunkers, everyone. We're just gonna commit to it and see what happens. Oh, the line was there. We are on the 17th hole again. This is the hole that is about 66 yards. Last time we hit a pitching wedge, it went long. So I'm gonna use my 56 degree as that's my shortest club in the bag. This is the first time I've ever hit a 56 degree off the tee, by the way. Short, not short. Maybe I should have used the pitching wedge again, but like half swung it. I'm learning though, I'm learning. Oh, you're telling me this now? <laughs> he just told me not to tee up a 56 yeah, degree. Right. Club down and hit it hard. Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm trying to hit the sand more as well. This is our part for par. This looks like it's a left to right. Turn. Ooh, that was a decent putt. Okay, bogey. Oh yeah, do a bogey dance. I was just trying to pick my nose and I told Danny to... Uh, <laughs> I, did not wipe. I did not wipe it on you. I just tried um, picking my nose and I told Danny to block me and he stood away. <laughs> um, so everyone could see me and then he just accused me of um, wiping my boogies on him. Um, <laughs> hi! Forehead cam. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> With Danny! <laughs> Danny! <laughs> we... This is how I see you. <laughs> we are now on the 18th hole and this is the final hole. Excuse you! We are now on the 18th hole and this is the final hole for the day. This is the second time we're playing it. Last time we played this hole, I got a 10. So the aim here is to probably get a 9 and hope that we don't double digits again. I'm going to use a 5 iron again. This hole is about 122 yards. Here we go! Oh, don't get in the bunker again. We avoided the bunker. I saw the ball coming down. My heart was just going. I was like, oh no. Oh shit. And then it bounced up. So we're not in the bunker. So we're on par for nine. Try and commit to it. It's the last time I'm using the 56 on the course today. Did I hit that too hard? I feel like I did. That's okay. I committed to it though. We're probably not going to get a 10 again, which is the most important thing. I hit it on the toe and with a bogey earlier. Yeah. Okay, we've ended with a bogey. So we're gonna look at the scorecard and then say each scores that we got for each hole and then calculate it. And then we will do our end of video summary like we always do. So we finished playing all the holes. So to summarize, I'm gonna say all the scores that we got. Four, a five, a five, a five, a five, a four, a four, a three, a six, a five, a four, a four, a four, a ten, a five, a seven, a four, and a four, which means I shot an 88 on a par three course. So we did manage to break a hundred, which is really good, but we came very close to potentially not breaking a hundred on this par three course. Par is 54. So how much over are you? 88 minus 54. 36? No. 34. I am... Th I shot 34 over par <laughs> on a par 3 course and 34 is pretty much what par is on a full 18 hole like normal course roughly on the front. <laughs> I'm so bad. I thought this video shows you guys how awful my short game is because it was genuinely abysmal. The fact that I shot a 10 on one of these holes and this is a par 3 is actually crazy but fully shown why I need to work on my approach game and why it's affecting my golf game so I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what other type of content you want to see in the Alia to Scratch series thank you to Daddy for filming and helping me today I appreciate you thank you look at that big nose but we'll see you in the next Daddy where'd you go? <laughs> we'll, we'll see you in the next Alia to Scratch video bye Mwah. You, you.